When I play a new Iron Cobra, I find myself a lot faster, a lot more fluid, a lot, there's a quicker response uh, with these pedals. I think I'm gonna be using this pedal for a long time. Cheers, brother. Cheers. <laughs> I'm loving this new Iron Cobra pedal. I have a very reliable pedal. It works, it's quiet, it's efficient, and it lasts the mileage that we do these days. Thank you, Tama. There you go. Brand new Iron Cobra. And I think the most important thing for us when it's being broken down every night, knocked around, that they don't break. They hold up really well for me. I've never had pedal breakdowns at all. And that's really important as well as being smooth and feeling like it's part of my foot. Our goal with these upgrades was to build upon each pedal's strengths. In order to achieve that, we focused on three important elements. Feel, stability, and sound. With the new swivel spring tight, the whole spring post swivels at the base, greatly reducing any friction at the point of contact with the frame. The spring is always being pulled in a straight line and helps the foot plate move faster and more smoothly. While we kept the size of the Iron Cobra pedal the same, we were able to extend the length of the footboard by slightly moving the position of the hinge back towards the player. This adjustment helps increase footboard control. For me, the first thing that jumped out at me was just how smooth the pedal was. And I was like, okay, I definitely have to get my hands on that pedal. We adopted the light sprocket to the Iron Cobra, which is one of the Speed Cobra's original features. I like the way they've hollowed out this. It's kind of a bit of a racing car thing to do. You start uh, drilling out pieces of metal to get rid of weight. The weight of the cam is reduced by about 40%, making it more responsive. We increased the width of the frame and underplate, so the pedal will be more stable, preventing it from swaying side to side. The energy from your foot translates directly to the kick drum, so you can perform with more power and with greater confidence. I would say the, the footboard is a lot sturdier, solid. It doesn't move around. There's no delay when I really get on the pedal uh, and, and hit hard. We kept the basic design of the original Paraclamp 2, which allows the pedal to firmly clamp to any kind of bass drum hoop. Even when playing fast, the pedal will not move or shift, keeping everything stable. We've also added a new rubber support, which increases gripping power and completely eliminates any possible bass drum hoop damage. We've changed the construction of the foot plate's bearing hinge from one piece to two pieces. It uniformly holds the bearing more evenly without stress, which maximizes its ability to achieve uncompromised smoothness. We've tested so many prototypes to find the most consistent and fattest sounding beater over the widest dynamic range. The beater head is, uh, is amazing. The new design I really like. It has a really good attack and really good feel to it. Compared to the prior Cobra beaters, the shaft to the surface of the beater head is longer, giving it more depth and size. This thicker felt contributes to a fatter sound. I felt like I could play whatever I wanted to play. I felt like I could I could <laughs> accomplish doubles and 30 second notes. Yeah. You know, whether whether I could or not, that's how I felt. And that's the point, that's the important thing as far as I'm concerned. It's very important to have equipment you don't have to think about and this is certainly one piece that I, I don't have to think about at all. I just play it, it's so smooth, it's there, I can rely on it and I know it's going to be there for the next gig and the gig after that and the gig after that. 
and that's what's really important.